I did miss Monday's video because I just been super busy. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Keisha and I am back with another video. Right. By now, my name is Keisha and I am the founder of Text on Trade. And I pretty much help entrepreneurs market their business. My industry right now is for the tax industry. I help brand new uh, tax preparers and I also help experienced tax preparers to expand their business. If you guys want to book me, my information will be down below and we can just book a consultation. You do have the option to take a 10 minute free consultation. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you click the link below and you subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the notification as well. I want you guys to go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram account is tax on track. I will leave it right here on the screen for you. And then I will also leave my Twitter account right here for you as well. So you can follow me. enough with the talking and let's get to the video. Yeah. All right. So today's video, we are talking about how much to charge your clients. And if you have this question and you are already doing taxes and you're like, damn, I should already have a price point. It's okay if you don't, because I was once in that shoe where I really didn't know what to price my clients. Real answer to this question. Okay. So let's just be questioned. There is no right answer to this question, how to charge your client. You charge your client however much you want to charge your client. That's just the honest truth. So you don't want to charge them too low and you don't want to charge them too much. That's where I can come in and help you. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So I will say the average uh, cost for a tax preparation, uh, personal 1040 tax preparation, individual tax preparation um, is 275 to 350. I say $350 because of where I am at. If you are in a smaller town, um, like a really small neighborhood, you can charge them $275. But if you're charging $275, that better be a two-minute return. It's gonna run yourself down the drain uh, if you're charging each person only $275. As a tax preparer, you can make $30,000, $40,000, $50,000, $100,000. You're not going to make $30,000, $40,000, or $50,000, or $100,000 charging each person $275 because you're going to drive unless you have a lot of clients and you don't want to do that. You want to, you want to figure out your minimum standard price. And once you figure out your minimum standard price, you need to stick with your gut. Other videos I talked about this and this was finding your niche. Now, once you find your niche, it's so much easier for you to know how much to charge your clients. And what I mean, what I mean by that is say for instance, your niche is teachers or your niche is Real estate. When it comes to real estate being your niche, it can go to so many directions. You could be a real estate agent, it could be a real estate broker, it could be a real estate um, coach, it could be a real estate investor. I mean, real estate is so big right now, and real estate is going to continue to be a big industry and it's gonna continue to be a growing industry because it's real estate. Everybody needs somewhere to stay. Simple as that. So if you're a tax preparer and your niche is real estate investors, you should you could charge them $1,500, $3,000, $2,500. It's really up to you on how much you want to charge. If you want to go that route, you have to really practice. You have to really study the laws to whatever state that you're in because the, the, the state laws are different. So you definitely want to know what you're doing if this is your niche because you have to basically, if you're charging someone $3,000, $2,500 for a return, for taxes it needs to come with knowledge it needs to come, it needs to make sense so don't charge somebody all that money and you don't know what the hell you're doing going back on to how much to charge them 
you want to figure out your niche once you figure out your niche you will know how much clients you need to do before we're, you're going into season so season is pretty much about to start uh, a lot of tax preparers a lot of tax offices is getting ready for seasoning season i said seasoning I'm so hungry, I'm thinking about food, y'all. <laughs> Once you know your niche, the opportunity is gonna be endless. And I also really help on niche. Times is very different now. The way the tax industry used to be is different right now. Like, I am in Florida and it was a point in time where there were tax offices literally you turn here is the tax office you turn here you look downstairs this tax office is literally tax offices everywhere and those tax offices basically just whatever the reason is they're not there no more and that's because the tax industry is changing you cannot do old school marketing with leaving your flyer leaving your flyer on people cars that don't work no more it, it really don't matter of fact I don't think it ever, it probably did before I started doing taxes, but it never worked for me. I never did that. I was never taught to do that. I never did that. I never did that because when I used to go out to the club and I come out or if I go to Walmart or I go somewhere and I see somebody put their stuff on my car, I will get mad. But the point is you don't want to do that market. That's not part of marketing with taxes. That's just... Don't even think about doing that if you're thinking about being a tax preparer because you're going to waste your money and you're going to waste your time. You're going to waste your money on them flyers and you're going to waste your time putting out all them damn flyers. If you are a tax preparer, you want to start getting your marketing materials now. We are in October of 2019. You want to start getting your marketing materials now. If you want to know what marketing materials you should get, you need to book a consultation with me. Let's talk about getting this money. I am excited about tax season. I don't know about you, but I am so enough with the rambling this video is over thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram text on track don't forget to follow me on twitter text on track so i'll see you guys in the next video bye